Now an object like this which is moving along a path that is actually angled would be much more realistic if the object was angled itself to follow the path. So the initial reaction might be to do something like rotation keyframes, and that's honestly a fair reaction. Let's give it a quick try. We're going to hit Shift R on the keyboard because this will add the rotation property to the current position property we have selected so we can still see all of the keyframes we have originally. And what we'll do is turn on a keyframe here by clicking the stopwatch for rotation. Now we're going to access the rotate tool which is up here inside the tools palette but the shortcut for it is W and now if we position it over the layer itself we could drag this around and sort of rotate it so it faces in roughly the right starting direction. Now if we scrub through the timeline the rocket does fly at roughly the right angle but then we'll stay at that angle unless we define extra keyframes. So maybe just a bit before the curve here, we maybe rotate it round just a little bit, and After Effects will interpolate these two small changes here. If we drag back and forth, you'll see the rocket does indeed slowly rotate. We then come through the corner, maybe on the corner there, we should probably be round about 90 degrees, so let's point the rocket downwards, come out the other side again, just roughly the same distance we were before the keyframe, drag this around and point it in roughly the right direction and again by the time we reach the keyframe at three seconds we could then straighten it up. Okay so we've got ourselves a bunch of keyframes here if we do ourselves a quick round preview of that you can see it's just completely unrealistic. It's kind of comical it looks very much like early special effects from the 50s but this really isn't the best way to do something. If you had an object that was following a very technical path that you've constructed very meticulously you'd have to add a lot of rotation keyframes to make the object follow it. Well thankfully there's an option in After Effects that takes care of this for you. Let's click to stop the preview and hit the V key just to go back to the main selection tool so we don't add any more rotation options. Let's come back to the beginning of the timeline, just turn off the rotation stopwatch so we get rid of all of the keyframes and then we can right click or control click if you don't have a right button mouse on the rotation property and quickly hit reset so it goes back to its original angle. What we'll do instead is come up to the layer menu, go down to the transform options, and down here at the bottom you'll see a command called auto orient. It has one very simple function in this case, orient the object automatically along the path that defines its motion. Currently we're set to off, so let's turn this option on, click OK, you'll see After Effects has just rotated the rocket very slightly to focus on the direction of the path, and now when we hit the zero key, after Effects is automatically rotating for you exactly based on the position and rotation of the path itself. So you don't even have to think about it, you just turn this option on and it works really well.